Hi, this is Sean from Soundcraft, here with another installment of our UI series tutorials. Now we're on chapter six, where we're going to be discussing our Digitech AMP modeling, our DBX automatic feedback suppression, and our Lexkin effects. So now let's move on to AFS2 functionality. So here it's located on all our outputs. So that's all our aux outputs. So if I click here, you'll see the AFS down there. Or let me go back out of the mix. If I press the master output, I also have it there. So it's on. So we have AFS on all the aux outputs and the master output. So here I'm going to play with my aux outputs because I'm going to I'm going to do this for all my wedges, for all my monitor wedges, because th those are the most likely to uh, feedback during your mix. Uh, DBX AFS works in two modes. You have a fixed mode. Uh, which is kind of like ringing out a system before performance. I'll show you how to do that. And then you have the live mode, which continuously updates filter placement and is used during the performance, not during the setup phase beforehand. So live filters and fixed filters are a bit different. So live filters are a bit smarter than fixed filters. What I mean by that is uh, the live filters can detect feedback you know, in your mix as you're playing and then apply the filters to get rid of it. So it's what you want to have on while you're while you're playing but it's also important to set the fixed filters beforehand as well for best uh, results so normally what you'd want to do is you'd want to start on the fixed mode uh, during kind of after you finish sound check you want to then you want to move into the fixed mode setup so the fixed filters work similar to how you ring out monitors so basically what you want to do is you want to go into fixed mode uh, and do all your sound check you know uh, get all your levels right figure out, you know, here's the aux master. So let's say this is where I want my aux master roughly. That's where I'm going to be, have my level during the gig. Well, what I want to do is I want to make note of that. So that's where I, I want it to be. Okay. So now go to setup. And if I had uh, music going through, it would be able to do this. But what I want to do is I want to activate the fix mode and it's on right now. And then I want to bring this up, bring up the master level as it's on and, and you'll see the filters apply. And as they apply, once you've run out of filters, you're set. It, it, the, fi the, the fixed filters are all set up and ready to go. So again, you want to start in fixed mode. Uh, you can adjust the sensitivity if you want, but zero dB is a good place to just keep it. And, uh, and then once you have all your filters set, just bring your level back down to where you wanted it before, and you're all set to go. Then once you, once you actually want to start your, your event, you know, the first band's on, just make sure you have the live mode on, and you can adjust the the sensitivity again, zero dB will probably give you best uh, best use, uh, best setting. But you can play with that if you want. You know, again, all rooms are different. It'll you know you might need different results based on on what you have. You know, if the singer's super close to the wedge, you might need to increase the sensitivity, uh, stuff like that. So just have a play. It really has a lot to do with the room and and the dynamics and the, of the acoustics in that room.